So inspections are an integral part of beekeeping. In fact, that's what beekeeping is, is simply inspecting your bees, making sure they're healthy, making sure your queen is, is laying eggs as she should, making sure there's no pests and disease, and making sure they have plenty of stores. So anytime that you do an inspection, you should have a plan. You should have an idea in your head based on your last inspection of what you expect to see, and it's gonna make your inspection times go much quicker. Um, so this particular beehive in the end is one that I put a swarm in the other day. And it's been about a week since I put the swarm in there. And so what I should see is eggs, because when I put the swarm in, I saw the queen, but I want to make sure that they continue to accept her. Oftentimes they'll swarm, find a new colony, and then kill the old queen and make a new one. So I want to see what's going on in there and making sure that they've uh, gone ahead and established their house. So a lot of the stuff that you see right here, like this, we had some really bad storms the other night. So I strapped this, this hive down because it's a little bit taller. Uh, not that the wind wouldn't blow it over, but if it did blow it over, it would all stay together. So that's kind of why I strap it all down. So when I come up to inspect my bees, the first thing I want to give them a look at is the entrance. Does everything look normal? And what is normal? Well, that's what you need to learn throughout the course of inspecting your bees. But I should see bees coming and going here. I see bees sitting on the front. They're kind of, it's a little bit cool, so there's not that much activity out here today. I just saw some bees going in there. You see they're kind of getting rid of some old scraps and stuff that are out. But I don't see any dead bees on the front. I don't smell anything funky, so everything seems to be okay. But let's ha we'll see, you never know what's going on. So my smoker's still lit. I'm going to walk up, but I'm just going to give it a couple of puffs like that. It's all they need on the front. So don't pay attention to my messy yard when I tell you you should always keep your bee yard clean. So there's a little bit of smoke on the front. And inside that smoke is already whirling around and those bees are wondering what the heck is going on. And I look in here, I don't know if you can see the top. So when I opened the bee, the, the hive up, I, uh, the bees were blanketing across the top, and I'm just going to give them a little puff of smoke across here. Now this is a, a vented, uh, screened outer cover, because when I put this, I put this uh, swarm in, that's what I had that was handy. And so, my hive tools are over here. And so a very common uh, thing that you'll see on your top of your beehive is just a little bit of this, this excess burr comb. It doesn't hurt anything. The bees just build it, but it makes a bit of a mess. And we just want to scrape that off. All this is is beeswax. And so it can be certainly used. You just render it down, you melt it down. Don't throw it on the ground in your bee yard because you want to keep your bees bee yard pretty clean so pests don't come around. Remember, small hive beetle and wax moth eat this stuff and we just want to keep it uh, out. Now, looking at my beehive, you see I've got all my bee spaces pretty, pretty tight. I'm just going to start popping some of these frames open. And that's why I like to use this type of a hive tool because it gives me good leverage to go through and pop these frames open. I'm just going to do this all at one time because it's just less movement going on inside the beehive and that's what I want. And since I see I've got all of the bees mostly on this side, they've kind of taken residence, I'm just going to make some space. I always want to make space to conduct my inspections. So I'm going to pull a frame out right here. I either want to pull number frame number two or frame number nine out. The reason I pull frame number two or nine is because number one or number ten will often get stuck to the side wall and it's hard to get out. So I'm gonna take two or nine out and that's gonna leave me this nice gap where I can pull my frame right to the center, keeping my bees directly over, nice and gently lift it up. Now, when I look at this frame right here, I see all of this liquid. All of this liquid here is nectar. So the bees are very actively foraging and storing away nectar because right now, we're in what's called the honey flow. And that's what I would expect to see. And the bees will very often 
stored nectar and, and pollen on the outside. And all these bees right here are in the process of making honey by sucking that nectar up and spinning it out and letting the enzymes in their stomach break those sugars down. Nice and gently. Now here's another example. This is capped honey. So underneath here is honey that's ready to go. So what I want to look for, let me move this over here, are eggs. There's a lot of bees in here and it can be very difficult to see the, the queen sometimes. But I just want to gently, I can move these bees out of the way and in those cells I can see eggs. Can you see those eggs in there? And if you have a hard time seeing eggs, a bright flashlight is really helpful. And you can see the little eggs in the bottom of those cells. They're often hard to see. So everything looks good here. Just gonna keep on looking. Every time I bring the frame to the center in that gap and lift it straight up and I keep, I keep the frame directly over top. Now some of these big guys here, this is a drone. See this big drone? They're really big. Their eyeballs come together at the top of their head. They're big and fat guys. They don't have a stinger, so they're fun to play with. Some can be black, like this drone right here is a big black drone. There's one here is a little bit blonde, like a blonde drone. And it's very well because there's a lot of different genetics in this beehive. This one here is probably something in the carniolan. There's a queen right there. There's my queen. So she's marked green from last year, and if you look at her, she's going around from cell to cell looking for one that she can lay an egg in. And I can look at all these cells, and they're already full of eggs. So little Queenie's doing a great job. She's looking really nice. So what I've seen so far are eggs. I saw my queen. This right here, what you see, remember bees don't mind getting touched a little bit. This is called a queen cup. This is a very common thing. You'll see them here is a queen cup, here's a queen cup, and they're very normal. But what I always want to do is look inside and make sure that there's no eggs or royal jelly in there. And if they are, that means the bees are in the process of making a new queen. So you can smash them like that. It doesn't really matter. The bees are going to recycle that wax. You're not really hurting anything. So I'm just going to give the rest of these a quick look. I've already seen eggs. I've seen my queen. I'm looking, oh, this is a nice bit of, of brood. This is kept brood for worker bees. So all of this is really nice pattern here for worker bees. Some of these holes you see right here kind of indicate perhaps some hygienic behavior, which is nice, which means there was something wrong, maybe some mites underneath that brood capping, and the bees removed them. So everything here looks really good. Mm-hmm. This larger comb down here, this is, this is a drone comb. Drone comb is puffy like this. It's a six millimeter cell. Here's one right here in the middle. Those are not queen cells. If you ever see queen cells, they're always, always, always vertical. What's that? Is there a guy in there? Yeah, so there's a larva, a drone larva in there. So we have open brood and we have capped brood. The open brood is larva, and the capped brood is pupa. All right. So I don't see any hive beetles. I don't see any deformed wings. And that's really what I'm looking for. Here's a nice big frame of bees. So when I look here, I look at all these bees, and what I'm looking for is, are their wings all look normal? Are they symmetrical? Do any of them look shriveled or any of them sticking at weird angles? Bees' wings tell a lot about their health. All of them are roughly the same size. There's going to be small variations because there's a lot of genetics going on inside of this beehive. Each queen mates with up to 18 drones. So that's a lot of different stuff going on. That's why you see some of these bees are more orange and some of them are more, more black and some of them are just different colors. And that's not anything to worry about at all. But if later, uh, when you become, you know, more adept at beekeeping, you would say like, well, how many bees are in my beehive? And I would consider this a frame of bees. 
so normally we count bees in numbers of frames. Obviously, we're not going to count individual bees, but we'll say I've got in this beehive easily one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames of bees in this colony, which is good. And so what I'm going to do, because I want to push the, this cluster of bees back to the center, I'm just going to move the whole thing over. You can easily manipulate your frames, but what you never want to do, uh, or you don't want to do very often anyway, is break up the brood area. Now, when I put my frames in here, I have to be very careful about bee space. So the bee space is between a quarter and three eighths of an inch, and I want to make sure that all of my frames are nice and snug together. And I'm gonna do that by putting my fingers on this end and using this as a pry to shove all those frames nice and tight together. This stuff, all the sticky stuff is propolis. And I'm gonna take it out there. Okay, so these bees are good, they're healthy. I've got nothing really to worry about. I'm gonna probably give them a couple more days and I'll add another box to them. So normally you're gonna have bees in here when you install a package, let's say, you're gonna start when you get about eight frames drawn out completely, you give them more space. I'm seeing in here that I've got about seven frames of bees. I don't wanna give them more space because that will simply give pests, like small hive beetles, more room to create a mess. So beekeeping is really a, a matter of balancing between a crowded hive, which they like, and an overcrowded hive, which they don't like. So we wanna keep it crowded, but not overcrowded. And that's it, that's a basic inspection of a single brood chamber in a beehive. What are your questions?